seconds. Okay, so today we're gonna jump into the past client sphere. I need you guys, I'm gonna share my screen really fast because I wrote this document a long time ago and I basically was like, what is all of the ways that we can contribute to people with real estate? And you know, I have a bunch of great real estate professionals on here right now. And what we can do to help serve, make a difference, impact our friends, our family, our past clients, their, the lifestyle and the quality of the life they live and their long-term financial impact. The things that we could do with what we know is so impactful, it's crazy. Yet, we are all kind of running around trying to figure out where our next sale is going to come from versus getting in there, making a difference, contributing, finding out how we can dramatically improve the quality of people's lives and their long-term financial future with our past clients in our sphere. Now, I know I'm preaching to the choir. I know you guys do this, but today is the day that we're going to do a lot of it in the next one hour of prospecting. So I just, with this document, I just tried to write out like, what is what should we do? So number one is we got to get the complete contact going. Number two, what stage of the life are they in? Okay, see, demographics is so valuable, right? Because at every stage of a person's life, there's a different real estate transaction. And so, you know, it's so funny, like when I talk to like young people, they're in their like 20s and they're like, oh, none of my friends are going to buy. I'm like, you're an idiot. What are you talking about? Like, you should be getting all of your friends to buy their first investment property and connecting with their parents and figuring out how you're going to help your friends build long-term financial wealth with this next purchase. What do you, what do you mean none of your friends are going to buy? No, none of your friends are going to buy because you're an idiot and you don't know how to help people build wealth with real estate. And every single one of your friends should be building wealth with you. And it starts with your ability to be able to help them at that stage of life. This is the next best, this is the, the right real estate transaction that you should be considering, right? I'm so pissed off that my family didn't say to me, Patrick, let's go get you a $300,000 two bedroom. You're going to rent out one room. You're going to live in that for the next three years. And you need to learn real estate. You need to manage your money. Then you're going to rent that second room out and you're going to have two roommate. You're going to get a second roommate and you're going to go buy another one. Are you guys pissed off that no, no realtor, no friend, no family member told you guys what to do about this stuff? That's so irritating to me. Then I'm even more irritated that no one ever told me to go buy a duplex and live in the one unit and then three years later move out and go buy another one. That irritates me. No one told me to do that. Do you guys see what I mean? Like we have so much advice that could improve the quality of people's lives and their long-term financial future, but we're so busy chasing the next transaction, we're not really consulting with the important people in our lives with the tools that you have, okay? So this whole document was like, I'm, I'm only on point two in this document, it's like five pages long, okay? So I'm gonna shut up because we just need to get after it, okay? now. In the springtime, is there any vendors or services that we should be recommending talking about? I don't know, you guys tell me. Well, I just, you know, I just had to have the gutters fixed at my house because I almost, my house almost flooded from the rains, okay? So, you know, roofing, oh, and I had to have my roofer over because there was a little roof leak in my house, hmm. Yeah, I shouldn't probably talk to any of my friends and family because we just had super amounts of rain in San Diego and I had two issues and I had two awesome people come over and fix and protect my house from future damage. Now, I shouldn't, I shouldn't tell anyone that they should, you know, I shouldn't reach out to everybody and say, hey, is everything cool with you guys? How's your house? How did you deal with the rain? 
you guys follow me? Okay, then step number three, what are their long-term real estate goals, right? And do we even know it? You know, if they have a kid, you know, like I really would like to figure out how to buy one property, for a condo in Arizona for each of my kids so that 15 years from today, I've got two investment properties with $100,000 of equity so I don't have to worry about my kid's college fund, right? And Sharon on, on, on the session, she's been crushing it with this because her kids are going to college and she's talking to all of her friends uh, who have kids going to college about buying investment properties at the college, teaching their kids how to live and operate with real estate so that they can move through the rest of their adult lives as successful real estate entrepreneurs. Are we really having deep conversations with our friends, family about real estate? Okay. Refinancing, you know, you get the picture. So I'm going to shut up and let's get after it. Everybody grab your phone, start at the A's and let's, let's talk, let's call some of our sphere, some of our past clients and let's get deeper into some more significant conversations with all of these great people in your lives and let's flex your muscles. Let's rock and roll. Let's go book some appointments. Put your goals into the chat. Okay, you guys rock, let's go.